Hello, welcome back to these videos where we learn English every day. Of course, I'm Teacher Kent again, and uh, today we're doing TPR gestures. Of course, we're continuing on from this book, English Line 2, Level 2, and today we're doing Unit 7, as you can see, clothes. We're doing clothes items today. Remember, gestures, TPR means total physical response. Gestures with your words makes everything understandable, more like, hello, nice to meet you. Well, my kids always do it, of course, you understand more. Don't forget, before I start, to give us a like below, and comment, and subscribe, and share this with your friends and family. We want more people to learn the news quicker. Okay, so let's see, uh, let me turn this book around, and let's start with the gestures, of course. Dress, I oh, sorry, yes, dress, right, dress, and dress, so I'll uh, do dress, 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 okay, dress. Skirt, skirt is similar to dress, but I just do here, skirt. Dress is like here, dress, so skirt, skirt, okay, skirt. Then here we have shirt, shirt, so button, shirt, button, 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 shirt, shirt. And of course, the pants, pants, I like to do like this, pants, pants. So until the bottom of our legs are pants, okay, Sh boots. Boots, of course, I like to put on, put on the boots. Boots, boots, boots. And of course, we have hat, 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 okay. And then t-shirt, that's what I'm wearing now. I'm saying I'm wearing a blue t-shirt with a yellow bird. <laughs> yes, t-shirt, t-shirt, t-shirt. And of course we have coat, coat, zip up the coat. I usually similar with Jackie too, uh, coat. Okay, and then we have, of course, sweater, sweater, like, oh, I'm wearing a sweater, so I'm cold, it's a sweater, sweater, okay. And then, of course, we have shoes. Shoes are similar to boots, so shoes, of course, I just do shoes. One time shoes, maybe boots, maybe I'll, I'll do boots into here, maybe boots, here, boots, here, boots, or shoes, so here, shoes. Okay, and then of course we have clothes today, but also we have colors and numbers, but mostly colors. So I use these numbers just so they can practice numbers as well. But what is this? This is yellow, yellow. I always say if you find, if you see yellow practicing, you should touch something yellow, touch yellow, yellow, okay. And blue, blue, my poster here is blue, my book poster is blue. Now they're learning. What is yellow plus blue? Can you write in the comments below? Do you know yellow plus blue? Yellow plus blue, of course, is green. green. Then find something and touch green. Then we have, of course, yellow again. Yellow. So touch something yellow. So again, I can touch this one, yellow. And red. Can you, so now touch something red. Okay, now yellow plus red equals what? Yes, it equals orange. Orange. Yellow plus red equals orange. Good job. Okay, so we'll go over these again at the end, but now I'm going to explain a game, as I usually do in these videos. A game that you can play at home with these vocabulary. So of course here, let me see where we're at. Oh yes, in the back of the book. Again, if you don't have this book in your country or where you are, you can draw pictures. Any pictures okay. They don't have to match these pictures. But the point is, as you can see, the colorful clothes is important. So, because we're practicing colors today, like blue hat, or red hat, or yellow hat, or purple t-shirt. Yeah, purple t-shirt. Or orange sweater, for example. So we have different. And you can see the lines here. So if you have this book, you're going to cut out like this. So if you draw yourself, cut out. So you have three different parts. You'll see why that's important. Now we'll explain the game. So this is, a, I call it battleship again, so we get to practice battleship a lot in this book. But battleship where you cover up here, you put something between you, and then you put something here. So she made a character with three things. For example, I see gray pants, uh, purple t-shirt, and blue hat, right? Do you see that? Then he has to ask her, and he's trying to make. Uh, for example, I'm wearing a blue hat. So she could, he could ask, what are you wearing? Oh, I'm wearing a blue hat. Okay. Are you wearing a purple t-shirt? Yes, I am. I'm wearing a purple t-shirt. Okay. How about, uh, are you wearing, let's see, let me move back here so I can show example. Of course, he's wearing the gray, I think the blue hat, purple t-shirt and the gray pants was what that character was wearing. But she, you could ask, are you wearing the green shorts? No, I'm not wearing the green shorts. Are you wearing the orange skirt? No, I'm not wearing the orange skirt. Oh, are you wearing the gray pants? Yes, I am. I'm wearing the gray pants. Then you can match. So exactly like that character. 
they're trying to match you can see here so they're trying to match each other okay so now uh, let's see we're going to go over the TPR again do you remember from the beginning of the video uh, but by the way the word of the day is red pepper red pepper okay so let's see so let's practice so can you guess what is this so I'll do the gesture first can you guess what it is what's this did you guess dress yes dress how about this what's this so this so it's a uh, skirt skirt sometimes I try to do like this like this so uh, skirt skirt and of course do you remember this one yes shirt it is a shirt how about this one? shoo like shoo do you remember yes they are pants remember it is a shirt or they are pants or I'm wearing a shirt I'm wearing pants no ah for pants okay and then here do you remember here here until here yes I'm wearing boots I'm wearing boots and here can you guess yes I'm wearing a hat I'm wearing a hat okay how about this one what's this I'm wearing a t-shirt yes I'm wearing a t-shirt and then here <coughs> yes I'm wearing a coat I'm wearing a coat and here here into here Ooh, into here yes I'm wearing a sweater I'm wearing a sweater and then here of course oh here we go into here yes I'm wearing shoes I'm wearing shoes and then of course we practice yellow remember touch yellow for colors we always touch something touch yellow yellow plus blue equals green yes yeah, so touch yellow touch blue touch green and here we go yellow touch something yellow red so touch something red and here equals orange yes yellow plus red equals orange and again usually I'll say that's why the numbers to practice them well you should practice with the number and the color for example find something yellow and then touch three times one two three find something blue touch twice one two find something green touch four times one two three four and touch something yellow eight times one two three four five six seven eight it could be the same thing like mine's here then of course red touch something red seven times one two three four five six seven and touch something orange five times one two three four five there you go good job thanks for coming to this video and learning english and we hope your english is improving every day until next time have a good day see you in tomorrow's video see you